long ago, there was a group of thieves made by the creators, also known as the Balancers. The second generation of Balancers. A perfect version of themselves. But something happened. A change occurred that altered their motives. So the creators were forced to destroy their perfect creations one at a time. But there was one survivor, not knowing what happened. No one knows where the second generation went. Not even David. He was alone. He was hollow. He was empty. His name was Empty Steve. Empty Steve was the first official villain of Legend of the Balancers, first appearing all the way back in Episode 2 of the series. The first time he was officially shown was when he was talking to Light after he was captured by Empty's own creations, known as the Unknown Steves, the Blank Steves, and the Unknown Alexes. This, however, is not the beginning of Empty Steve's story. As he heard Psychotic briefly explain in the beginning, his story begins a long, long time before Legends actually began. Empty's story truly begins as one of the first creations of the Creators. He was the unbalance of the second generation of balances. Somewhere along the line, the second generation ended up turning sides, forcing the Creators to take down the second generation, including who would soon be known to be Empty. For unknown reasons, Empty was the only survivor. He had no energy left. The creators have not only stripping out his balancer energy, but the energy that made him who he was to begin with. All of his colors faded, leaving nothing but raw, unhinged, unknown energy, resulting in his dark gray coloring and his textureless form. Empty's first creations were known as the Unknown Steves and Alex's. They were either created out of nothing but pure unknown energy, or previously another chromatic or biome, Steve or Alex, that got exposed to enough energy to change them full. These Steves and Alexes had incredible attack potency, and overall had a much higher ability rate than any other kind of Steve seen before in this universe. Technically speaking, Empty's second creation was in fact not the Blank Steves. His second creation were a more unique kind of being, known as the Fusion Steves. A combination of two or more Steves fused with unknown energy. His third creation was actually much like the Fusion Steves, being created in similar ways, but with very different results. The Broken Steves. Broken Steves, while fusions were only two Steves, could put into one body. The Brokens were three or more Steves combined into one single form. This failed experiment created such an unease with the energy reliance that if they came into contact with any other Steve or Alex, it would cause unreckonable damage to them. His fourth and current final creation was actually a success, however. An incident requiring power that he did not know he himself possessed led to the results of a blank Steve. Unlike the unknown counterparts that excel in attack, these new blank creations had high durability and defense capabilities. For the first time in a long, long while, Empty eventually lost a fight. Said fight was against Balance, a light Steve that had managed to fuse with one of his unknown Alexes, creating what he believed was the ultimate weapon he had been trying to create the entire time, a Balancer. Only a few days later, Empty would reappear, searching out Balance and one of his previous strongest creations known as Dark Unknown Steve. He wasn't clear on what he wanted, but it seemed in his own way, Empty was asking for aid for certain assistance, although in the end, he ultimately left on his own accord. Shortly after Empty's ask for help, 
his entire facility to which he had created all of his creations within was attacked and eventually obliterated by Herobrine. Although Herobrine did strike empty down, for unknown reasons he did not finish the job, despite their not so well past. The next time Empty would appear would be when he came to, again to ask for Valens' help while they were hiding out in Elder Blue's first village. After Empty had taken Balance to his now destroyed facility, Second, in an attempt to get away without being chased, attacked Empty, leaving him in a critical condition. With no time to get him to a machine or build one, and not having advanced enough healing to help Empty stop falling apart, Balance could only think of one option that had worked in the past completely absorbing Empty like he had done with Unknown Alex. This led to an awkward confrontation inside of Balance's mind as Unknown Alex and Empty had their first conversation since Unknown Alex and Light fused, becoming Balance. It was in this mindscape that Empty would be left for quite some time while his physical form recovered. The next time Empty is shown is when Balance had just been killed by Herobrine and his hunters. Upon entering the spirit world, the natural order of it split Balance back into Light Steve, Unknown Alex, and Let Empty Out, all three of which having technically lost their lives shortly after the creators had brought them back out of the spirit world. Empty would again refuse of light as they became Balance once more. The next time Empty would appear would be again once Balance has died, this time to Psychotic Death. Upon arriving in the spirit world, however, Empty looked slightly different, more textured than he had in the past. This was due to his body making an attempt to heal itself, finally, after what had long ago happened with its incident against the creators. The three of them would have a discussion of Herobrine before he inevitably gave his life, sending them back to the overworld. Empty would not refuse of balance this time, however, as to de avoid detection from psychotic deaths of their fusion and the return of balance in the normal world. Along with Shadow Saber, some of the old hunters, Plague Steve, and Second, Empty would be Balance's temporary team as he tried to get the rest of his balancers back. After locating the balancers once more, Psychotic, in a show of power and fear, reverted Empty's physical form to who he had been before his healing had begun. He was again textureless, although this was not where Psychotic planned to stop. In front of the reverted balancers, he reverted Empty to beyond the point of which he had actually become Empty Steve. Empty Steve, their first villain, had been revealed to be unbalanced of the second generation balancers. After Psychotic had reverted their forms and split the balancers apart, Empty was located with many of the fusion Steves and broken Steves that had eventually become balancers, both Realm and Nether being fusion Steves in their past, and end balance being a broken. It was during this time that Empty revealed his true motives behind the unknown facility, all of the creations he had created, as well as why he had started in the first place. After a time, Ultra Balance eventually tracked down Empty and found him watching over his previous creations. After a brief discussion about their pasts, they went back to the others, preparing to get rid of Psychotic. Eventually, a while after Psychotic had been defeated, Balance once again called upon Empty. He brought Broken Leader, along with many of his unknown blank infusion Steves and Alex's, to aid against Voided One in what was known as the United Assault. Whether or not Empty's actually a bad guy was up to debate. He did horrible things to these Steves, but all in the name of trying to defeat Herobrine once and for all as well as the faint hope of one day seeing his fellow balancers once more. A lot has changed since he was initially the first villain, now being one of Balance's closest allies, coming to them whenever they need a time of need, whether that be fusing once more of Balance, or providing aid through his own creations.